Welcome to labmins.com. In this video, in our Cisco ISB IoT mini series, we will look at wireless device onboarding using dual SSID. So we still have pretty much the exact same setup as the previous lab with the single SSID with the user admin ones trying to use his personal laptop and iPhone Android mobile device to connect to wireless. But this time, we will be providing a dedicated SSID exclusively used for onboarding called lm buiod with open authentication. So the main difference when you compare this with the single SSID is the user will be connecting to the lm buiod SSID and with the open authentication user will authenticate using wireless map and it will be presented with the guest portal. Once the user logs in using their uh, credentials, the procedures after that is pretty much identical with the single SSID. So let's start off with looking at the configuration of the wireless LAN controller. So here, if you look under the VLAN and this SSID, we already have an LM BYOD SSID configured with the VLAN ID 3. And let's go ahead and enable that. It's currently mapped to VLAN 64. If you look under security, we pretty much have it set to none, but we want to make sure that we have a MAC filtering checkbox checked, and as well as having a AAA servers configured to point to ICE, both for authentication servers and accounting servers. Okay, under the advanced, it's configured pretty much the same way as the SSID that has 802.1x um, WPA enable. So here with the AAA overwrite, and we also have a default interface AC HAL that only allows user to communicate with ICE, as well as having a NAC state uh, set to radius NAC. Okay. Let's make sure and we apply and save the config. Now we can go into the interface uh, on ICE. And let's start off with authentication policy as always. So here we already have the wireless.1x uh, configured authentication rules configured. And that's going to be used for the EPTLS authentication. But this time, since unlike the single SSID method where you use PEEP, we're going to be using wireless map to allow users to connect to the onboarding SSID. And the way to do that, let's uh, duplicate. We're going to use the, currently we have the wired map rule. So we're going to duplicate that and call this one the BULAN map. And for the condition, let's point to the default wireless map. Okay, allow protocol, we're going to leave it at the default, and just to reiterate, you will need the user not found uh, set to continue, just like the wired map. Okay, now we can save. Let's wait for this to come back, give it a couple seconds. Now we'll move on to the authorization. We're going to go to policy uh, conditions, and then we're going to start setting authorization condition. So here, authorization, compound conditions. Since we're going to be configuring this one for wireless map, let's duplicate wireless map and call it LM WLAN BYOD CWA for central web auth, since we'll be using central web auth. And we're going to keep the condition pretty generic because this is more like a catch all for the wireless and let's map it to the WLAN ID for the LM BYOD onboarding. So we'll go to airspace, airspace WLAN ID and as you can see here under the WLAN configuration the ID is 3. So we'll map it to 3 and save. And just to show you from the, from the previous video, we're going to be reusing the condition here for the EPTLS authentication. So LM WLAN BYOD matching EPTLS and looking for uh, BYOD user groups as well as wireless user group and to make sure that the user is coming from the correct SSID, which is LM internal with the WLAN ID of 1. Okay, so that has been configured from the previous video, so we're just going to reuse that, as well as the 
access list on the wireless LAN controller, your access control is with the LMIs only that allows DSCP, DNS, and communication to the ICE IP 32.102. And this is for when the user first connect to our, our LM BYOD SSID, and that's all the access it would need at that point. Okay, next we're going to create the authorization profile. So we'll go results, authorization, authorization profile. And this one is going to be for the central web auth where we need to redirect users to our guest portal login page. So we need to go to web authorization with a centralized ACL of LM eyes only. And for redirect, we already have a custom portal settings configured called LM portal. And we created this back in the wired onboarding video. All it is is just have the client provisioning enable. Then we save. And again, we're going to be reusing a blacklist authorization profile that we will be redirecting users to a blacklist, a black hole page with the AC of LM eyes only. Okay, now going back to the authorization policy page, we since we already have the the BLAN blacklist set up in the previous video with the user group or any endpoint groups blacklist with the device type to BLC for our WASLAN controller and allocating the, the BLAN blacklist authorization profile. And we'll be using Let's go ahead and disable this onboard rules that we created for the single SSID since we're no longer going to need that. But we're still going to need to have uh, to keep this uh, particular rule for the BLAN BYOD since that one is used for the TLS authentication with the permit all access. But now we need to create one more. So let's say insert rule below. And this is going to be the central web auth authentication for the onboarding now. So let's call it, call it LM WLAN BYOD CWA. And we already have a condition configured. So we're going to point that to LM WLAN BYOD CWA. And this one's going to be Allen Duland CWA. There you go. So done. Save. Now let's review what we, we have created in the from the previous video as far as the network, a wireless network settings. So under the policies, results, client provisioning resources, we have created a supplicant, native supplicant profile called Allen Duland TLS. So if we click edit. You see that we have our operating system allow with the wireless SSID of LM internal uh, security to BPA2 enterprise with TLS authentication, and all of these will be pushed to the client once it has successfully registered the device. Okay, now if you look, go and look at under client provisioning, now this is how you allocate or assign the supplicant profile to device with particular operating system. We have one set up for all Windows or Windows All with condition as far as it has to be coming from a wireless LAN controller and we'll be pushing out the config wizard and the profile that we just showed you just now. We also have a separate rule for the mobile devices that's going to be matching Android and Apple iOS and we just basically use the exact same profile. Okay, so those are again pre-configured from the previous video. Now with all that said, let's go ahead and start testing our client.